The question today is how to assist the kids in maintaining a certain level of consciousness so they do not become enmeshed in the widespread unconsciousness that still permeates in the world through popular culture and the technology that encourages unconsciousness and addictive behavior. Not what you say or do to children, but your state of consciousness at home is the most effective instruction. That is the basic cornerstone of everything you should teach your kids. It has nothing to do with teaching. In fact, holding the space of presence when interacting with children at home is the foundation for transmitting consciousness, not simply the desire to do so. Additionally, try to be as present as you can when speaking to your partner. There is a connection there that will spread either presence or unconscious outbursts to them. Being aware is the most important thing before ever considering doing anything. Children pay attention to how you act and they somewhat factor that in. As adolescents spend more time in school, mass culture is undoubtedly another impact. On occasion, you might be able to draw their attention to items so they can continue to have immediate sensory experiences. Don't let kids become disconnected from nature. These days, so many kids are immersed in technological games that they no longer encounter nature. To them, it is something completely foreign. That is really hazardous. Being cut off from the direct experience of the natural world, which connects you to deeper facets of your own being, is a huge deprivation. Having a pet at home is quite beneficial. Children's relationships with dogs are non-conceptual in nature. You can interact with the dog and take care of it, stepping outside occasionally and away from the normal electronics that kids have. The act of watching television induces a mild hypnotic trance. Because everyone else is doing it, it might not be simple. You don't have to entirely forbid that sort of activity, but you should advise against letting them use all of their free time with it. Without any technology, take them into the outdoors. Encourage children to use their senses intentionally by having them touch, feel, and look at things. Remind them to distinguish between conceptual labeling and actual knowledge or experience. Encourage kids who are learning language to avoid confusing notions with reality. Encourage them to touch, see, and feel the object you are teaching them about, rather than just telling them it has a certain name. Look at it some more. Otherwise, you stop feeling and are left with just a name in your head. Both consciousness and emotion are present. Encourage type of behavior where they can examine the emotion that occasionally consumes them. Ask them, what was it that took you over when you started screaming yesterday? After the incident, not at the beginning. 
was that what? And inquire how does it feel? Or create a game that they can play, making it something they are aware of. Next, let's wait until it comes again and see how it feels. If you have it, you can say, the same thing happened to me when you awaken from your unconscious behavior pattern. The goal to teaching is to demonstrate the potential for awareness so that they are less likely to get permanently identified with whatever comes to mind. If you have any other neat tricks or methodologies for raising the children in conscious way, please share them with everyone in the comments below. I hope this helped you all. Thank you once again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more mindful contents like these.